Good morning and thank you for waking up with us on this final Sunday of 2019. I'm Mike Stralo. Here's a look at what's ahead on CBS 58 Sunday morning. Natalie Shepard meets a man who doubles as Santa's right hand in Milwaukee. How he was able to fulfill the Christmas wishes of hundreds of local children. Plus, Sharon Bagenda tags along with a pooch patrol in Kenosha. A team of dedicated animal lovers who reunite lost pets with their grateful owners. And later, Pauline Lee looks back on 2019's viral moments. Also ahead. I know we're in a very high stress situation. We're going to make this uh, the best day we possibly can every single day that we're here, regardless if it's an event or if it's an out event day. Game time hits, tip off, you kind of, you're, you're excited, you, you feel the rush, you feel the energy of the, of the, of the fans and the crowd. It's, it's just an unbelievable feeling. Feeling overwhelmed about preparing a New Year's Eve party for friends and family? Try cooking for more than 17,000 hungry guests. Ahead in our Sunday morning spotlight, a day in the life of Pfizer Forum senior executive chef. How this culinary king gets Wisconsin's premier entertainment venue ready for game day. But first, it's almost time to flip the calendar to a new year. For some, a new year filled with resolutions. But before you do, Michael Schlesinger is with professionals helping people achieve positive, lasting change. Bad habits are hard to break. Yes, they are. But you can do them. Yes. So, I'll try again. Stop smoking is what this woman wants for a new year. But she knows she's up against hurdles many times with herself. Small steps, they say. That's it. You're more likely to stick with quitting smoking the tenth time than you were the first time because it just adds up it just compiles and you just keep putting in that vote eventually your body and your mind come together and you're like oh i really don't want to do this these are the words and beliefs of head coach and professional speaker joshua janice he founded his own company my odyssey stressing good habit forming behavior if you feel something that is that you would want to change and you're able to listen to yourself because a lot of us don't really listen to ourselves if you're able to listen to yourself and you feel that that's something that you would not like to be doing, then I would say it's a bad habit. Is smoking a bad habit? Well, it depends how much, how much value you get out of smoking. Maybe, like, yeah, you know that it can cause cancer and you know that it's unhealthy for you, but also there's a social aspect to it. There's, you know, perhaps you enjoy it more than shortening your life. Because it's not as clear cut as, as you might think. Janice says our habits, good or bad, make up half our day and in turn, half our overall life. He insists for us to thrive. We have to be aware of how we live and make changes accordingly. Start with something small. Start with a micro habit. And remember that equation, that cue, craving, routine, reward. We want a simple, easy, measurable, time sensitive. Get, get back to those smart basics. Professional counselor at Ascension Wisconsin, Teresa Trenier, takes a cue from a behavioral model from the 1980s in terms of living the genuine life you really want. So instead of saying, I want to be healthy or I want to get in shape, you're going to add something like, I'm going to add five minutes a day to my walk after work, or I'm going to add spinach to my shake every morning for the next seven days. Something very specific that you're going to do in a time-sensitive way. You're much more likely to stick through with that. Trainier adds you need a support system to achieve your goals. Rally your supports. If you're trying to walk more, get your coworkers to go after lunch with you. Get your partner to take a bike ride with you once a week. You encourage people who can do that resolution that are on board with you to give you some of that support. She also contends if you create and build good traits and make them last over 30 days, chances are you're on your way. They're all around us, so they're hard to sustain. Dr. Simon Bronner, Dean of College of General Studies at UW-Milwaukee in Waukesha, says it's no coincidence the number 30 keeps being mentioned. It's not really arbitrary. Instead, he tells me it's more like a societal standard. Three is a standard of harmony and some people will use four they'll say four weeks because uh, four is more than enough and we have biblical uh, roots uh, for that as well with 40 and, and 30 and so forth we say ready set go again that's that's three and you learn your abcs and and so forth so that in itself is based on a cultural standard. While Dean Bronner says society can be a good guide for making changes within ourselves, 
He advises to ultimately make them for us and not someone else. If you are making goals based upon the standards of others, you're never going to feel as if you're adequate. But if you make goals because now suddenly when you wake up in the morning, you feel better, or you're looking in the mirror and you say you've got more energy, uh, that's going to be affirming. What's the one thing that we all could improve on if you had to pick one thing? I would say gratitude would be if everybody was grateful every day, uh, a lot of stress and a lot of people's bad habits would kind of melt away. And hopefully replaced with better ones. Oh, I have to go out and make it happen or it doesn't happen. Kind of jumpstart your year and try to see if you can get where you want to be. I couldn't imagine somebody being at mail call and not getting a package. Still to come, the Hartford mom making the holiday season brighter for troops overseas. But first... Everything is handmade, handcrafted, one-of-a-kind items. A creative way of giving back. Rough day at work? Join us for happy hour at the M. We've got two for one specials starting at four with Blackish. I want to have a bar mitzvah. Oh. Get down, girl. Go ahead. Get down. Hey. Mike and Molly at five. Go, go, go. Can you dig it? In the Big Bang Theory at six. <laughs> Food fight. The laughs are on the house. Weekday starting at four on WMLW DM. After my accident, I was out of work and my medical bills were piling up. So I called Gruber Law Offices. They got my bills paid and settled my case for over $125,000. It's our pleasure. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. Lowe's helps you do hosting right. With the best prices of the year on appliances to help you handle anything and everything. Shop now for appliance savings like these. Do it right for less. Start with Lowe's. Next time on Mike and Molly. Hey, let's roll. <laughs> Bad boys beware. What you gonna do when McMillan and Biggs come for you? Mike is in hot pursuit. Congratulations, you wrecked a $50,000 squad car and almost killed us in the process. Nice! <laughs> and Molly's his partner in crime. What are you thinking, we sneak upstairs? No. Table for two. On the next Mike and Molly. Monday at 5 on the M. Handmade by skilled craftsmen. This is real Amish made furniture on sale now at Builtright. Save unaffordable solid wood Amish furniture in your choice of wood finish, even fabric, leather, and hardware. Stylish and made to last generations. Buy local at Builtright. Yep, it's 1850. Colonel James, you are under arrest for drinking car. This one's been cut with Starbucks. It's not pure 1850. 1850 coffee. Quality that's criminal. You need answers. We can help. Call the CBS 58 Investigate tip line at 414-777-5808 or email investigates at cbs58.com. We'll find the answers you need to know. When I got hurt in a car accident, I had so many questions. Can my car get fixed? Who's going to pay for my medical bills? I'll call Gruber Law Offices. If you've been hurt in an accident, call Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. A local business has come up with a creative way to help entrepreneurs fulfill their goals. Shirley DeScorbeth shows us this community-minded retailer selling diverse and locally produced products. From pop-up shop to a permanent retail location, owners of Wisconsin Curated Creations are embracing their new space. Our store consists of entrepreneurs throughout Wisconsin. Everything is handmade, handcrafted, one-of-a-kind items. Located at Mayfair Mall, the shop sells a variety of products from clothing and accessories to art and furniture. The owners, married couple Bruce Riley and Danielle Carter Riley, were inspired to open the shop after their own difficult journey to sell their brand. 
work. And so many businesses and so many other pop-ups told us no, that we couldn't do it. So my wife and I said once we get established, we was going to reach out to other entrepreneurs. Wisconsin Curated Creations has more than 20 vendors from diverse backgrounds. All the products were made locally, including Danielle's. She showed us some pieces from her accessory line called Beaded Vision Jewelry. Uh, I love making these wrap bracelets. And I don't duplicate any designs. Everything is um, beaded. I use gemstones, precious metals. I put my heart into it, um, and I just hope that people can feel the love that I put into it when they wear it. One of my favorite at peace. One of their many vendors is Pamela McCreary of At Peace Design, who says selling her items at a brick and mortar shop has been positive. That brand recognition is really cool now, and now that I, I feel like I've been out here long enough that people are noticing it, and they even have someone coming to the stores. So I saw your things at the store. is feels like I've actually arrived. <laughs> But the Rileys say this is more than just a store. Their focus is bigger. Our focus is the community, um, not only with bringing um, different vendors and small businesses into the space. Their goal is to hold events at least once a month, connecting with others while making a difference. Whether it be the Hunger Task Force, whether it be collecting you know, donations for McCann and Brown Homeless Sanctuary, if we all just do a little bit, we can make a big difference. Mm -hmm. Shop also opened its doors to LaPorsche Kimber, a mother who's collecting donations that'll go to those mourning the loss of a loved one. We just lost my son this past August um, to gun violence, so my daughter came up with the idea of these survival kits and care packages to give to those families to lift their spirits. Vendors here are grateful. It's overwhelmed with joy. I knew that something good had to come out of all of this. The store is stepping up and making positive change for the common good. Trying to show people, hey, this is a safe space to kind of get to work, put your hands to work, let our minds, you know, think about how we can come together and do more within the community because we really need that. Our community calendar on New Year's Eve tradition continues in Milwaukee on Tuesday when the Harlem Globetrotters take the court at Fiserv Forum. Part of their new Pushing the Limits World Tour, the Globetrotters have played in Milwaukee every New Year's Eve since the 1960s. On Wednesday, a new decade arrives. New Year's Day in Milwaukee brings the opportunity for some hearty souls to start the year on a frosty note at the annual Polar Plunge into Lake Michigan at noon. The event at Milwaukee's Bradford Beach is free, open to the public, and does not require registration. Also Wednesday, you can welcome the new year with the Kite Society of Wisconsin and Illinois at the Cool Fool Kite and Ice Festival. The 33rd year for this Milwaukee tradition is free at Veterans Park starting at 11 a.m. Thursday is Winter Adventure Day at Milwaukee's Urban Ecology Center. An entire day of winter fun for kids to learn about different ways animals survive the winter, from staying warm to hiding food. And on Saturday, a family-free day at the Milwaukee County Zoo. Sponsored by North Shore Bank, the Milwaukee County Zoo is open for everyone looking to get out of the house during the winter break. The adrenaline, and then you have the tears. Yes. Oh, gosh, yes. The tears. Coming up, the guardian angels for lost dogs. And next. It's going for a good cause. It's going back to veterans. A local mom's holiday idea of spreading joy catches on. The Super Bowl champ, George Kuntz on Burke Griffin. So second and third year. What we have to do as an office, we have to be able to run the ball, slow that, that pass rush down. Today at 1030 on the M. Could someone be stealing your identity or hacking into your phone or laptop? It can actually happen from across the room or from thousands of miles away. Or a company you trust with your personal information could be breached. Your information is in more places than ever. You need more protection than ever. That's why Norton and LifeLock are now part of one company, providing an all-in-one membership for your cyber safety. New Norton 360 with LifeLock gives you identity theft protection, device security, a VPN for online privacy, and more. Cyber criminals keep looking for new ways to steal your personal information. You might not even know it until it's too late. Someone filed my taxes under my name. $6,000 was sent to some anonymous person, some anonymous bank account. They got into my bank account and my cell phone. What else do they have? 
With threats all around, you need 360-degree protection. New Norton 360 with LifeLock gives you all-in-one protection against today's new threats. I've got two industry leaders coming together to help protect my identity and my devices. Why not have that added layer of protection so that you can sleep well at night? Join now and use promo code MYPROMO to save 25% off your first year. All Norton 360 with LifeLock memberships include LifeLock Identity Theft Protection, backed by our Million Dollar Protection Package, and U.S.-based restoration specialists who will work to fix problems. Award-winning Norton Device Security for multiple devices. A VPN for online privacy, securing your connections whether you're on public Wi-Fi or at home. And more. You never know where cyber threats are lurking these days. Don't wait to become a victim. Here's how to join. New Norton 360 with LifeLock. Call 1-800-234-0137 or visit lifelock.com slash mypromo. Use promo code mypromo to save 25% off your first year and get a free shredder with annual membership. Call now. Switch and got a phone for free. Fa la 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 With no activation fees. Fa la 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 la. Maybe after one more show. Get yourself what you really want this holiday season. Switch to U.S. Cellular and get a free smartphone with no activation fees. U.S. Cellular. Choose fair. Now, weekends are wilder than ever. With wipeouts so wicked, they are all going down. You won't believe it's only a game. So funny, it hurts. Wipeout weekends. Today at 11 on the M. You don't always know your calling until it comes knocking. A Hartford woman says she's blessed to have found hers. Rose Schmidt shows us how support the troops Wisconsin is making the holidays brighter for active duty members of the military. You know, writing paper that they could write back to. Miraculously, somehow, we have mailed 467 care packages since November 27th. It may not look like it from the outside, but this donated space in Hartford is where a lot of Wisconsin holiday magic happens for those who are overseas. I will knock on wood. My kids did eight deployments and they came home every time. Some people's kids don't come home. Sacrifice takes on a different meaning when you've watched your loved ones fight for our country. My own family has missed funerals, weddings, births, Many, many holidays. But with every missed day, Leanne Bodwine wants to bring one more smile. Let this be the highlight of their day. It's going for a good cause. It's going back to veterans and showing that you respect and honor to the younger generation that's fighting for your country. We try to include a magazine or a book, something that they can read. Leanne and her hardworking volunteers have shipped almost 14,000 care packages in 14 years. Why not? You know, I mean, I could be sitting at home watching TV, but I'm filling out customs forms or, you know, whatever. It's just so easy to give back. This growing operation was inspired by her son's heartbreaking memories of their military colleagues. I couldn't imagine somebody being at mail call and not getting a package. And this is where this passion comes from. Each one is filled with food, toiletries, you name it. That's all been donated. And of course, they deserve it even more than what we can send. Let's go home to bring a bit of Wisconsin to the rest of the world. Let's collect some books, snacks, and more and send it to those who they deserve. Um, can you help us send a care package overseas? Probably a big, big surprise, because it's stuff they need, basically, and they ain't getting it. Daniel Polkitsky walks in parades to help raise money for Leanne's cause, because he understands firsthand the value one box can have. I was asked about it. When I was over in Nam, my parents and my uncle sent me care packages which always came around Christmas time. This box cost $18.45 to mail by itself. The postage money is now donated as well. More than $7,000 for the 400 packages mailed during the holiday season. Half of the VFW of Hartford Post 8834 will have a donation of $600 for you for the care packages. Thank you. This is a lot of money for a lot of care packages. But it's a seemingly small sacrifice compared to the missed weddings, birthdays, and Christmases. So this box would be ready to go.
final preparations are underway for New Year's Eve celebrations, big and small. Mark McPherson went in search of some creative cocktails local bartenders are crafting ahead of the countdown to 2020. A lot of corks popping. Ringing in a new year always comes with an old tradition. It's just, it just goes hand in hand with it, right? Champagne at midnight. They always ring in the new year, right? It's light. It doesn't give me a hangover. And here at Giggly Champagne Bar. A rosé. Do you want a sparkling rosé? They mix an old favorite with a new twist. So I'm now making the cotton candy champagne flute. Well, you can always get a regular glass of bubbly at midnight. Why not add something sweet? You can get champagne topped with cotton candy. You can put it in the wine, but I suggest you eat it on the side. It's definitely an eye-catching option. Everyone orders it after they see it. It's really fun for birthdays. I'm definitely going to put that on my list for my next visit. But if you need a little more at midnight, try mixing it with an old favorite. People also are really intrigued by the cocktails that we have featuring uh, both sparkling wine as well. So I'm making the sparkling Cosmo. So it's vodka, orange liqueur, lime juice, some sparkling wine in there and cranberry juice. A Cosmopolitan is topped off with their house brute. Definitely I would say the sparkling Cosmo is one of our top sellers for cocktails. It's just a few options to ring in the new year a whole new way. Um, I think that everybody should ring in the new year with um, a nice glass of champagne and with the ones you love. To see them turn around and be able to be a happy, loving family dog. Wow. Next, on the job with the lost dog posse. On the next Big Bang Theory. Amy Farrah Fowler has asked me to meet her mother. Yeah, so? What does that mean? You know how you're always saying that Amy is a girl who's your friend and not your girlfriend? Uh-huh. Can't say that anymore. Things are moving too fast for Sheldon. You considered telling her how you feel? Leonard, I'm a physicist, not a hippie. But slowing down is not an option. Oh, dear. They really do be crazy. Next Big Bang. Tonight at 6 on The end. You've got something up your sleeve. What you didn't know was you were surprising your father-in-law, Steve. The best part of waking up is folders in your cup. You're a person, not a credit score. But sometimes your score gets in the way of the things you want to do. That's why personal consumer loans through NetCredit are designed to fit real people. Borrow the amount you need, up to $10,000, and choose the repayment terms that work for you. With NetCredit, you may even be able to build your credit history as you repay. NetCredit, a more personal, personal loan. Visit netcredit.com today. My name is Ikana. I was hit by a driver who ran a stop sign. Just being able to take care of me, myself, and my son, that was something that was really, really scary, and I knew that Gruber would act fast on that. Ikana was hurt and called Gruber Law Offices. The team that I had working with me, they were really great. They gave me a lot of information and they pretty much did all of the work. It was just one call and that was all. Let my family at Gruber Law Offices take care of yours. It made me feel really special. to Nissan's year-end event for your last chance to save big on Altima with available intelligent all-wheel drive. Get 0% financing for 60 months on the 2020 Rogue. From our family to yours. Happy holidays from CBS 58. Jack those calls, trim those trees. To Nissan's year end event for your last chance to save big on Altima with available intelligent all wheel drive. Get 500 holiday bonus cash on select models. A Racine woman's love for dogs has become her passion project. She now helps find and return lost dogs to their families. Sharon Bagenda shows us why Billy's posse is a barking success. Dogs are a man or a woman's best friend. But what do you do when your furry friend runs away or gets lost? That's when Billy's posse comes in. It started years ago. Billy was a skittish Australian shepherd who ran away in Racine County. When dog lover Kristen Wilson heard about this, she started tracking him and recruited the help of people in the community through social media. We did one search party that I 
requested a lot of assistance with um, on social media. I did nextdoor.com, I did Facebook and Twitter, and we had, I don't even know how many, three to four dozen people that came to help search in the park for this dog. It took a month for the team to capture Billy and bring him back home. But by that time, they realized they've created a posse just for Billy. A lot of people just kind of stuck together, and when a dog went missing, we went. We all became friends. Wilson soon realized that finding flyers, lost pets we'll was a need in her community. Leave. We're finding a need for people to get assistance. Not everybody has family and friends who understand the love of a dog or a cat, and that's where we want to help them. Wilson says when a lost dog is captured, the feeling is truly euphoric. That feeling spreads to all of the new volunteers of Billy's Posse, including Pam Avery, who now helps run Billy's Posse with Wilson. Just amazing knowing you don't have to worry about that pet anymore. You know the owners are resting. Everybody's going to sleep fine. That dog is safe. The adrenaline, and then you have the tears. Yes. Oh, gosh, yes. The tears. It's like just a relief of... Oh, this one's home. Avery and Wilson say witnessing a wiggly tail run back to their families is never a boring sight. She's got him. Here, Crash the dog was reunited with his family. Avery says Crash cried after seeing his mom for the first time. We're just sitting there and mom comes in and she's crying and he's like lifting his head and, and whining at her like, just, I'm home, I'm home, and they, it was just like this, a relief. Wilson says every dog's personality is different, us. and each search comes with its own set of rules. A lot of times the ones that we end up being the most help on are the ones that are a street dog that's been newly adopted or is a foster or is a very skittish dog. They go into fight or flight a lot quicker than a really happy-go-lucky, friendly dog that'll go up to somebody and then get reunited with their owner. In one of their latest success stories, Billy's posse was able to track down a shy dog named Shrimp, a rather small name for a whopping 190-pound English Mastiff. Billy's posse rounded up more than two dozen people and finally captured Shrimp more than a week after he ran off. At 5.45 a.m., we had at least two dozen people, some we didn't know. People coming from... Um, what was it, West Bend, driving down from West Bend the night before to stay in the hotel to come help. Paul Zervopoulos is a Billy's Posse volunteer, and for a whole week he tracked Shrimp's whereabouts. The look on Shrimp's face when Paul captured him was priceless. Actually finally having him in my arms was great. He gave me a look like you're the guy that's been after me, and he knew. <laughs> Without them seeing him and having a phone number to call, we may never catch the dog. And the group helps find lost pets by putting flyers dead. out, tracking lost pets with trail cameras, organizing search events, and of course, capturing and returning lost pets. Here you can see the group tracking Chewy, a Yorkie poo, with one of their trail cameras. We post on the Billy's Posse page and then anybody that wants to help, we create a messenger chat for each search. And the people that want to come help, we add to that. So we all have instant communication with each other if there's anything to share. Once the group has an eye on where a lost pet may be, they trap them by using the Missy Trap. Billy was actually captured in one. He was captured in a Missy Trap that the owner went and got the supplies for and we put up on my friend's property. In two years, Billy's posse has returned more than 25 dogs back to their families. Their mission has made such a difference that the group was granted nonprofit status last month. What that does for us is ask the community to help us help them. Now, they are helping fund equipment that we're going to use for their dogs. Wilson's love for dogs doesn't end with Billy's posse. She also fosters dogs with traumatic pasts, so they're able to find a forever home. Her current foster dog, Cotton, came from a puppy mill. It takes patience, and he's learning to dog. He's learning what love is. Now he curls up in my lap, and, you know, he gives me this look like, I love you, you know, and wants belly rubs and cheek rubs. It's okay, baby. Giving yeah. second chances for dogs who were abused is something Wilson hopes to continue doing, because once that dog learns how to love again, it's life-changing. To see them turn around and be able to be a happy, loving family dog. Wow. <laughs> How can you not when you have the room to do it?
And while a dog's love may mean the world to Wilson and Avery, the reuniting of families and their pets is the fuel that keeps Billy's posse a barking bundle. That's the confirmation that what we're doing is what we need to do. Billy's posse is always looking for volunteers to help with the recovery of lost pets. To help reunite furry friends and their families, head to CBS58.com. It's all about providing hope and, you know, fulfilling dreams. Still to come, playing Santa for a day. I know we're in a very high stress situation, environment, there's a lot of different things and activities going on. And next, inside the back of the house at Pfizer Forum on game day. NCIS, put your weapon down. Happy Mardi Gras. Another New Orleans tradition that I love. I'm genuinely having a blast. Tonight at 8 on WMLW, the end. If your glasses aren't perfect, we'll fix them. So will we. No, we won't. <laughs> Don't forget to use your vision benefits before they're gone. Now in network with VSP. Vision works. See the difference. Nobody beats our selection at Menards. Control your home's lighting with energy-saving Lutron dimmers. They work with all dimmable bulb types, including LEDs. The toggler dimmer is just $19.99 each. Improve your indoor air quality with DuPont Plus 8,000 allergen air filters. They remove 80% of airborne particles like dust, pet dander, mold spores, bacteria, and more. Just $2.99 each after rebate. Nobody beats our selection at Menards. Save big money at Menards. You're a person, not a credit score. But sometimes your score gets in the way of the things you want to do. Personal consumer loans through NetCredit help you borrow up to $10,000. And you can check if you're eligible on netcredit.com without affecting your credit score. You may even be able to build your credit history as you repay. NetCredit, a more personal, personal loan. Visit netcredit.com today. Hi, I'm from Blue Hill Stone Martins. We brought a meal for you and I'm here to serve it to you. Okay, great. Come in. Zucchini carbonara, made from zucchini that was harvested earlier this morning. Again? Oh. <laughs> hey, Dan Barber. You have room for a little bit more? <laughs> come yeah, on come in. in. Brochettes, the sausage. So when we made that zucchini carbonara, you know, they're the end pieces of the zucchini and they're the cores that we cut away. Not to mention zucchini flour. Usually those get thrown out. We use them to create an entire second dish. Does that help? Again? Uh, I'm here to bring you your third course. It's the vines from your zucchini. We'll have a little zucchini stem pasta. A different experience of zucchini. When we start to think differently about our food, we can get a lot more out of it. This is delicious. What do you think we can make out of this? 40% of food in America is never eaten. Cook it, store it, share it. Visit savethefood.com. CBS 58 Ready Weather has a brand new app featuring live radar, severe weather alerts, and hyper-local forecasts from your favorite CBS 58 meteorologists. Harness the power of the CBS 58 Ready Weather team in the palm of your hand. Download today. OMFG, our modern family guarantee. Can I get a what? what? You'll LOL all week long. I hope I could be as cool as you guys in 30 years. Does she think we're 50? No, no, she's just really bad at math. Modern Family Nightly, tonight at 7 on the M. Since moving into Pfizer form, the Milwaukee Bucks have built a championship culture on the court, in the community, and in the kitchens of their state-of-the-art entertainment center. Our Sunday morning spotlight is shining on the Bucks' senior executive chef, who combines hard work and humility to serve up success at Bucks games, concerts, and other events at Pfizer form. <laughs> It's game day, and as Giannis and his Bucks teammates gather for a morning shoot around on the practice floor, got a cupcake ready to go. Special request. Chef Kenneth Hardiman is busy making his rounds next door at Pfizer Forum. We have our first shift coming in, starting off uh, getting some items uh, bold, uh, prepped up, ready to go, fresh baked off cookies, as you kind of see. So this kitchen is uh, really the heartbeat of the Pfizer Forum food and beverage experience. It certainly is. Uh, we produce. Uh, the majority of our products here for uh, all of our guests throughout the Pfizer Forum. 
this morning we were probably here at 6.30 this morning starting off with our, one of our main pieces of equipment that are vital to our operation is our smoker. So this thing is locked and loaded. What we have going on right now is uh, <laughs> our Milwaukee ribs are in here. These went in this morning pretty early. And they're smoking. It'll be done this afternoon, ready. It's one of those things that just attracts you when you come in early in the morning or during the game day, you can smell the, the, the live smoke wood going on. I could smell it outside like, before we got here. <laughs> <laughs> Kansas City, here I come. Much like the aroma of authentic barbecue that wafts through the air in Hardeman's hometown. I grew up on Gates Barbecue, but there's so many other great barbecue places in Kansas City. And the family recipes perfected in his grandmother's cast iron skillet. My grandmother taught us how to cook at, a, at an early age, and then my mother still has these recipes that my grandmother has and my father, like on index cards written, just old in like this little uh, recipe box. Recipes passed down to a creative soul. I wanted to be an artist at first. Who chose culinary arts over visual arts for a career. I really realized that this is something I was really good at and it came natural to me and I could intertwine my artwork in it. How we doing? Good. How are you? As Pfizer forms senior executive chef, Hardeman works with food and beverage provider Levy to deliver a world-class dining experience. How we looking? Morning, noon, and night, whether the guest list is 17. We had a pop-up uh, lunch in here today. So, it's never a, a dull moment. Or 17,000 plus. Hey guys, we're doing pre-shift in the Jockey Club. Let's get dressed, let's go. Ten hours before tip-off, another team, members of Hardeman's culinary staff of executive and sous chefs, cooks, and food prep employees gather for a pre-shift huddle. Doors at 5.30, game starts at 7 o'clock, guys. On the agenda, a positive inspection report, quote of the day, new food rollout. Uh, avocados from Mexico, so we're doing, rolling out the, uh, the new guac carts. And the continued commitment to create a fan-first culture from the suites to club lounges. Welcome our new employees, guys. I know we have a, new, a lot of new faces here. Concession areas and courtside seats. I know we're in a very high-stress situation, environment. There's a lot of different things and activities going on. We're going to make this the best day we possibly can. Go Bucks! All right, let's have a good day, guys. I'm right by there. As morning turns into afternoon, Hardeman starts to rack up the miles. Just want to make sure we're ready to go. In the stairwells, elevators. Can it to Chef David Joe? And on the concourses of this 714,000 square foot building. You are putting a lot of miles on. <laughs> yeah, every day. Every day is a marathon, so to speak, uh, between Mecca here, the Deer District. Um, there's a lot of ground to cover, but hey, it makes the job exciting. The job takes him back and forth across the plaza to the Mecca, the Deer District Sports Bar and Grill. Hey, Ryan. Hey, how's it going? Good. So this is literally like the calm before the storm. Uh, this place is going to be rocking and rolling. As it is on the court, teamwork is key to serving up success. Okay. Whether fans crave brats and burgers or treat street popcorn. It's been a, it's been a busy day. And fresh friend poke. A sweet 34 as requested some gold rush chicken. I got somebody working on it right now coming up. Pfizer Forum's MK Eats program delivers dishes from local restaurant partners such as Gold Rush Chicken. We have a special uh, flour that we use that's prior to the Gold Rush Chicken. We have great partnerships uh, with Sobelman's, with Clements, with uh, Sargento Cheese, just to name a few. Why go out anywhere else? We have the experts here in this city and they, they do a great job. Experts including Chef Justin Carlisle. We're starting to pick up right now. Okay. This James Beard Award finalist and his wife Lucia. Hello, Lucia. Have brought favorites from the restaurants Laughing Taco and Arden to Pfizer Forum. Half hour before tip time, things are getting busy here on the concourse. For sure, for sure. I mean, we got uh, checking out all the stands, uh, little mini restaurants as we like to call them, making sure uh, there's product of food in the window for the guests, uh, fresh. There's energy on the court, and there's energy up here too. Tons of it, tons of it. You can feel it in the building. As fans begin to take their seats, the pace doesn't slow. How you doing? Behind the scenes and in public, Hardeman continues with his checkdowns and tastings. but always pausing with token hand for the national anthem. I got a lot of people in my family that are military uh, people, so I, I'm thankful for the bomb. I'm thankful for all the people who fought for our country and our rights. Only minutes into the game, Hardeman is already preparing for the next big rush. 
Okay, that's to all culinary team members. So let's make sure we're ready for halftime. Let's make sure we're ready for halftime. 16 hours after arriving. And another Bucks win. You smell a world championship coming soon? I hope so. <laughs> I I'm too. hoping so. The team's playing very well. Chef Hardiman reflects on what went right. We do a great job. How they can be better. Can one of y'all go back and ask them if they got more turkey, please? All the while adding to his own gratitude journal. Welcome to the Jockey Club. I don't ever look at it as a long day because, you know, this is fun to me. This is not coming to work. This is coming to uh, my dream job. This is coming to something that I never thought I was going to have the, uh, the privilege or the experience of ever doing. You'll find today's stories and those from previous episodes at cbs58.com slash Sunday morning. And please send your story ideas to Sunday morning at cbs58.com. Not many people hit three home runs in three straight games. Well, of course he does it on the first pitch. Still to come, some of the year's magical moments in southeast Wisconsin. But first... This time of the year is the year of giving. The joy of answering letters to Santa. Next time on Mike and Molly. Let's roll. <laughs> Bad boys, beware. What you gonna do when McMillan and Biggs come for you? Mike is in hot pursuit. Congratulations, you wrecked a $50,000 squad car and almost killed us in the process. Nice! Mm. And Molly's his partner in crime. What are you thinking, we sneak upstairs? No. Table for two. On the next Mike and Molly. Monday at 5 on the M. Could someone be stealing your identity or hacking into your phone or laptop? It can actually happen from across the room or from thousands of miles away. Or a company you trust with your personal information could be breached. Your information is in more places than ever. You need more protection than ever. That's why Norton and LifeLock are now part of one company, providing an all-in-one membership for your cyber safety. New Norton 360 with LifeLock gives you identity theft protection, device security, a VPN for online privacy, and more. Cyber criminals keep looking for new ways to steal your personal information. You might not even know it until it's too late. Someone filed my taxes under my name. $6,000 was sent to some anonymous person, some anonymous bank account. They got into my bank account and my cell phone. What else do they have? With threats all around, you need 360 degree protection. New Norton 360 with LifeLock gives you all-in-one protection against today's new threats. I've got two industry leaders coming together to help protect my identity and my devices. Why not have that added layer of protection so that you can sleep well at night? Join now and use promo code MYPROMO to save 25% off your first year. All Norton 360 with LifeLock memberships include LifeLock Identity Theft Protection, backed by our Million Dollar Protection Package, and U.S.-based restoration specialists who will work to fix problems. Award-winning Norton Device Security for multiple devices. A VPN for online privacy, securing your connections whether you're on public Wi-Fi or at home. And more. You never know where cyber threats are lurking these days. Don't wait to become a victim. Here's how to join. New Norton 360 with LifeLock. Call 1-800-234-0137 or visit lifelock.com slash mypromo. Use promo code mypromo to save 25% off your first year and get a free shredder with annual membership. Call now. Waking up early is hard. That is so true. But MeTV makes it easy. Yeah. With Wake Up With Me. What is the best thing that ever happened to me? These classic comedies coax you out of bed. Rise and shine. And put you in a good mood to start your day. Right on. Tail. There's going to be a lot of excitement going on around here. Set your alarm to wake up with me. Hey, hey, yeah. Weekdays on MeTV Milwaukee. Christmas 2019 has come and gone thanks to Santa and his army of helpers around the world, including some in Milwaukee who provided presents to 300 children. Natalie Shepard is with the leader of the group Santa for a day. Dear Santa, Dear Santa, I'm, how are you? It's a childhood tradition. Dear Santa, writing a letter to Santa. But it, L -O -L now, jo -Jo -C -Y My first gift would be a bike, Toy Story, four toys, 
Back in November, the Milwaukee Housing Authority put on a letter writing event. I did it when I was a little child and it was fun, you know, so it's all about the kids. Helping these kids put pencil to paper with a little assistance from Marquette High School students. We're going to help these guys and if they need any help coming up with uh, ideas for a present. So and bango in the box. Nice, that was pretty cool. But writing a letter to Santa is something Rich Gentile worried might have gone by the wayside in this digital age. Nice. Santa for a day is really about reintroducing Santa to today's world. He's lending Santa a hand with his program, Santa for a Day. When these letters head off to the North Pole, his organization will help provide all of the presents. It's all about providing hope and, you know, fulfilling dreams and wishes. And uh, I think it's important when you're a kid. Because I feel like this time of the year is the year of giving. Giving and loving and just supporting each other. About a month after the kids wrote their letters, a huge delivery to the Housing Authority's Community Services Building. We sent off all the letters to them and then they filled the orders. It was like Santa on Amazon. Gentile and Santa for a Day bought and wrapped many of those wished for gifts. One more. Resident Services Manager Maria Rodriguez says Gentile's generosity is making a big difference. This really means that th there's an extra gift for a child or a gift for a child. Parents picking up the presents. He asked for, his biggest thing was a comforter set. Excited to see the kids' faces on Christmas. You're waking up in the morning, running downstairs, <laughs> opening up my presents, like... <gasps> so it's about the kids. And maybe thinking about, you know, what, what's out there, hoping for something or, you know, uh, wishing for something. And sometimes kids don't get a chance to do that. This week in Wisconsin history, it was January 3rd, 1904, when Jean Dixon was born in Medford, a rural community in north central Wisconsin, though the exact date of her birth is subject to debate. One of the best known American self proclaimed psychics and astrologers of the 20th century, Dixon rose to notoriety thanks to a nationally syndicated newspaper column and several books, including a best selling biography. Among her most notable predictions was the assassination of President John F. Kennedy. In a 1956 issue of Parade Magazine, she wrote the 1960 presidential election would be won by a Democrat, who would then go on to be assassinated or die in office. While many of her more specific predictions would fail to come true, she remained a high-profile figure for decades, providing occasional advice to President Richard Nixon and later First Lady Nancy Reagan. Dixon suffered cardiac arrest and died in a Washington, D.C. hospital in 1997. Before her death, she reportedly uttered the words, I knew this would happen. If I wasn't able to afford it, I would hope somebody would help me out. Next, the moments that made 2019 special in Southeast Wisconsin. The Super Bowl champ, George Kuntz, on Burke Griffin. Those second and third year. What we have to do as an office, we have to be able to run the ball, slow that, that pass rush down. Today at 10.30 on the M. I got hit by a truck and was really hurt, so I called Gruber Law Offices. I broke my leg in a car accident. I called Gruber Law Offices. They made everything so easy for me. Thank you, Gruber Law Offices. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. Here's an important message from the Diabetes Solution Center. Diabetics understand all too well the pain of pricking your fingers. But now, by wearing a small remote device called a Continuous Glucose Monitor, or CGM, you can immediately reduce your pain. It's easy to use and helps you make more accurate diabetes treatment decisions. If you are testing your blood sugar four or more times daily, injecting insulin three or more times daily, or using an insulin pump, call the Diabetes Solution Center right now to learn about this groundbreaking new CGM technology. And if you have Medicare, you can get a new CGM at little to no out-of-pocket cost. Shipping is free and we'll even bill your insurance company for you. If you are testing your blood sugar four or more times daily, injecting insulin three or more times daily, or using an insulin pump, call the Diabetes Solution Center right now to learn how you can get your own continuous glucose monitor or CGM at little to no out-of-pocket cost. 
on the next Two Broke Girls. Have you cleaned houses before? Well, I had a house and it was very clean. The girls need a second job. This is scrubbing toilets in or out. I want to do it because I like rummaging through strangers' medicine cabinets. And this gig will really flush out their resume. Go down, go down, stop, please stop. How's it going out there? Either your water just broke or you pee like a smurf. Next Two Broke Girls. Tonight at 10 on The M. When I got hurt in a car accident, I had so many questions. Can I choose my own doctor? Should I give a recorded statement? If you've been hurt in an accident, call Gruber Law Offices. They made sure my future was protected. One call, that's all. Bouncers. Back in the day, our family played bid whisk, pump, and spades. We had game night every week. Double Dutch, hopscotch, roller skates. Kickball, streetball, skateboard. Running to see the candy lady. Or chasing down the ice cream man. And playing outside until the lights came on. I'm Judy. I'm Vince. And I. And I am a bouncer. MeTV has your motive. 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 Motive to watch weekday mornings. I suppose you gentlemen have a motive to go along with all this. We suspect you'll want to get clued in. You know what I saw? And investigate the lineup of Perry Mason. Matlock, diagnosis murder. And in the heat of the night. You see how it all fits in together. Witness it. We'll be there with bells on. Weekdays on MeTV Milwaukee. It'd be a crime to miss it. Our final Sunday morning entry of the year highlights stories from southeast Wisconsin that went viral. Pauline Lee looks back on memorable moments that generated pride, warmed hearts, and brought smiles and tears. 2019 was filled with a lot of moments that southeast Wisconsin can be proud of. We had another great year in sports that started with an amazing run by the Bucks, almost making it back to the NBA championships. Giannis Antetokounmpo. Giannis made us proud as he was crowned MVP. While our other MVP began the year knocking it out of the park. And home run after home run after home run. Deep. And Christian Yelich gets number 35. Even Lola and Libby from Muskego got a new furry friend out of the deal after he hit a home run, making their sign go viral. Not many people hit three home runs in three straight games. Well, of course he does it on the six kicks. Yelich hits this one wrong. <laughs> Don't worry. Dad made good on his promise. Even number 22 helped out. Who'd ever thought uh, MVP is going to walk out a dog for my family? The pride of Pewaukee, J.J. Watt, wanted to get to know fans off the gridiron. Text me. He posted his number to Twitter, getting more than 20,000 likes, nearly 2,000 retweets, and more than 25,000 fans looking for a response. We're now all watching Brian Vance dance in the bullpen. And then there was Brian Vance of the Kenosha Kingfish, who caught the nation's attention when he busted a move that would make even Queen B smile. Beyonce would be proud right now. That's kind of just the person and player that I am. I like keeping it loose. And Summers native Tony Martin had us all stopping in our tracks when he was caught photobombing a wedding proposal in Chicago. The original post on Reddit was seen by more than 173,000 people people around the country. 2019 was also a year we showed incredible kindness to strangers. If I wasn't able to afford it, I would hope somebody would help me out. From Milwaukee police officer Kevin Zimmerman, who pulled over struggling mother of five, Andrella Jackson. Talking about it making kind of teary eyed <laughs> Instead of giving her a ticket, he surprised her with two brand new car seats. Thank you. Thank you. To seven-year-old Ashlyn Sanders of Oconomowoc, finally got my chance. Who had a wish to make a music video that went viral, thanks to the Make-A-Wish Foundation and more than 143,000 of you, it did. I just felt excited. And I don't care if it takes months or even after Dean is gone, we will read every card. And when faced with terminal cancer, Gene Wittenhiller asked for holiday cards to make his last Christmas a little brighter. Tens of thousands came in from across the country, but Markeith, Marquane, and Earl did one better. Yeah. 
they decided to pool their money and drive from Milwaukee to Prairie du Sac to hand deliver their cards to him. An incredible sharing of love and happiness, thoughtfulness. She was the most kind little girl in the world. This year, we also said goodbye to Emma Mertens of Harland, the eight-year-old girl battling an inoperable brain tumor with such courage, an infectious smile, and a big heart. Her request for dog pictures and letters made her known internationally as mail came pouring in from around the world. I mean, she was a special little girl that wanted nothing more than to spread kindness. Our world may not always be filled with joy, but 2019 gave us plenty of moments to remember the good in people and plenty to look forward to in the new year. And now, a moment in Wisconsin at the Cedarburg Environmental Study Area. 38 acres of wetlands set aside for preservation and research. Here's a look at what's coming up next week on CBS 58, Sunday morning. There's only about five or six of us in the United States that are doing it as long as I am. I mean, these animals belong to everyone in Milwaukee. And so they're really special. And um, if we're going to keep them captive, we need to take good care of them. Meet one of America's top zoo dentists who've been making the rounds at the Milwaukee County Zoo for nearly three decades. How this veteran doc, who between appointments at his Wauwatosa dental practice, helped pioneer the field of animal dentistry. For something new under the sun, CBS Sunday Morning with host Jane Pauley is next. Thank you for sharing part of your morning with us. I'm Mike Stralow. Please join us again next week for CBS 58 Sunday Morning.